Hey everyone, Jay here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up pre-orders on your Shopify store using the Early Bird app. So step one, you want to obviously install the app from the App Store. Uh, it's called Early Bird Pre-order and Restock. Uh, it has a free plan available here so you can get started for free. And let's jump into the setup now. Once you've installed Early Bird on your store and you open it in the Shopify admin, you'll land on this dashboard where you'll see the setup guide at the top. So this will guide us through setting up Early Bird, but we're just going to go through the first step now, activating the app embed. So essentially this is a one click button here that will take us to our theme customizer and will automatically tick on the Early Bird app embed, which essentially connects Early Bird to our theme. So you can see here that it's ticked it on under app embeds on the left, and all we have to do is click save to activate. And so once this is saved, we can jump back to our app and you'll see that the first step is already ticked off and ready to go. Now that we've activated the app embed, we're ready to create our first pre-order campaign. So if we click the create campaign button in the setup guide, it'll take us to the campaign form and we can get started. So campaign name, this is just for your own internal purposes. So you can call this whatever you'd like. I'm just going to call it test campaign. And let's look at the availability options now. So we have keep selling pre-orders until the campaign ends. This is essentially going to, regardless of the stock levels, allow customers to just keep pre-ordering these products until the campaign reaches its end date or you stop it manually. The second option is to only sell pre-orders while in stock. So this will only sell pre-orders while the stock is above zero and will essentially allow you to do limited quantity campaigns. So if you only want to sell 100 pre-orders of a certain product, you can choose this option. And once 100 of that product is sold, then the campaign will stop selling pre-orders for you. You'll notice that a second option appears when we choose this, uh, the stock limit, and we have two choices. So we can either manually manage stock levels ourselves on the products, or we can opt into Early Bird managing these for us. And so if you do choose Early Bird to manage the stock levels, it'll give you another option here, where you can enter the stock limit. And this will apply per variant. So I might wanna sell 100 of each variant, or if it's a single variant product, I just wanna sell 100 of this product, uh, we can enter that here and Early Bird will automatically deal with the stock itself. It'll update it for us. But you can obviously just say, I want to manage this myself if you've already set up your stock levels. And the third option is to only sell pre-orders while out of stock. So this option here is essentially to create a back order campaign. It will sell the product as normal until it runs out of stock and the stock hits zero, and then it will turn into pre-orders. So looking a bit further down, we have this continue selling when out of stock option. So if you're not sure what this is, um, in Shopify on your products, you have a under, under inventory here on the variant, we have a continue selling when out of stock tick box. So this will essentially allow Shopify to keep selling a product even when it's out of stock. So for certain campaign types, you'll need this to be ticked on. The great thing about Early Bird is that it can manage this for you with this setting. So if you look here, it says continue selling when out of stock must be turned on for these products. This will obviously change based on which availability type you've chosen. So if I choose only sell pre-orders while in stock, then the opposite is true. Continue selling when out of stock must be turned off for these products. Again, Early Bird can manage this for you, but if we're gonna stay on keep selling pre-orders until the campaign ends, we need to make sure that this is turned on for our products. And the easiest way to do this is just to opt into Early Bird managing this for us. So essentially when we publish the campaign, it will tick this box for us for all of our selected products. And when we stop the campaign, it will untick the box again. Moving further down, we have the campaign schedule. So you can see here that you can set a start and end date for the duration of the campaign, as well as the start and end time. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the start date so it starts immediately and we can set an optional end date if we'd like. Let's just leave it without an end date for now, which means it'll just keep running until I manually stop it. Next up, we have the product selection. So you can see here that we have a browse and a search. So this is where we select which products we'd like to have for pre-order. I'm gonna choose the complete snowboard here. So once that's selected, you'll see it appear here with all variants, and we can move on to purchase options. So in our pre-order campaign, we can have one or two purchase options, and we have the option of either pay in full or pay a deposit. So pay a deposit is a paid feature, so this isn't available on the free plan, but if you upgrade, you can use this feature, but I'm gonna show you both of these right now. So pay in full, the customers just pay the full price up front, and you can also apply an optional discount. So I can call this pay in full, save 10% because this name will be shown to customers on the product page and throughout the checkout. So we want to make this descriptive and we can apply the discount here. We have the option of a percentage or a fixed amount, but we're going to apply a 10% discount if you pay in full upfront. 
And then we have the option for pay a deposit. So we can also tick this on and you can see we have a similar form but with a few more options. So we can say pay a deposit, save 20%. Let's say pay a 50% deposit. Let's make it very descriptive. Again, we have the percentage here. We can set a 50% deposit. You have the option of a percentage or a fixed amount. And then you also have this option for when the final payment is auto collected by early bird. So we can say that they're gonna pay 50% upfront and then the remaining 50% we wanna collect after a specific number of days or on a specific date. So we have both options here. I'm going to say on a specific number of days, let's say 30 days later, we're going to order collect the remaining 50%. And we can apply a discount again to this purchase option. Lastly, we have the fulfillment settings. So down here we can set when the expected fulfillment date is. This will be shown to your customers as well. So you want to choose the date that you expect to ship the item, or you can set as soon as possible or not sure, depending on what your setup is. We'd recommend if you do have a date in mind, setting the date. Uh, just because it's a, a little clearer to the customers and they're, they're more likely to feel like they're informed rather than just saying you're not sure when it will ship. So fulfillment date we can set, let's say this is going to be the 7th of November. We can set a fulfillment time as well, uh, we're just going to leave that 12 a.m. And lastly we can set if we want to reserve the pre-order stock when the pre-order is placed or when the pre-order is fulfilled. So we want to reserve the stock once it's placed in this case and then right at the top we just click save. And now our campaign is created and we're ready to go. It's gonna be a draft campaign at the moment. So you're gonna land on this campaign dashboard and you're gonna see there's no orders yet, but we have our test campaign that we created with the product that we chose and it's ready to be published. So this will show a pop-up with just a bit of information about the requirements and restrictions for pre-orders on Shopify. This includes things about the supported sales channels and payment gateways and things like that. It also has a notice just about contacting early bird support if you have any styling or layout issues because some themes can be a bit tricky. But essentially you just tick this box and click publish campaign and the campaign will start processing. So you'll see that it goes into a processing state here and it should take a few seconds and it'll essentially publish the campaign and make it live. Now the campaign is active on our store, we can go to the storefront and see how it looks. So now when we look at our product on the storefront, we can see the complete snowboard here in our catalog page has the pre-order badge. If your theme doesn't have this badge showing up, just contact support and they'll hook up your theme for you. But essentially you can click through here and you'll see all the pre-order options that we've set up, pay in full and pay a deposit. It'll also have the badge up here and the discount amounts here, and this will apply to all the variants that we selected. You'll also notice that there's an expected ship date appearing here above the add pre-order to cart button. Um, and if we choose the pay a deposit, we get another message as well, which just lets the customer know that they'll be charged the remaining balance on the date that we selected as well. These two options can be customized as well as all of the, the language and the colors and all of the display options around this pre-order campaign can be customized in the early bed app. So let's jump back and take a look at that now. So if you click on display in the sidebar here, you'll land on the display settings page. Uh, the back order settings are at the top, but we can scroll down to pre-orders for now. And you'll see that we have a preview on the right hand side and some settings on the left. So we'll essentially be able to update the settings here. For example, the discount badge color, we can make that red and on the right hand side, we'll see the update immediately. So we can use this to change the language and to change the colors. So we might wanna change this instead of add pre-order to cart, maybe we wanna say pre-order now. And we might wanna change the color of the button. Maybe we make this a nice red as well and change the text to be white so there's a nice contrast. So just to draw more attention to it or to match your theme's branding. There's also the information down here with these labels and messages. So expected ship date, uh, it uses these dynamic tags. So you'll notice fulfillment date and final payment date. This is actually going to be replaced with the, with the option that we chose in the pre-order campaign. So whatever the final payment date we chose was, it will dynamically appear here. So we can use those if we wanna render that information. Or if you just wanna write your own little message here, you can do that as well. And once these changes are made, we can click save and it's going to update the campaign on the front end. So if we take a look at the storefront again and we refresh this page, we'll see that those settings apply and all of our colors have come through and our messaging changes are here. Pre-order now. And we can also update the badge color as well if we want to make that consistent. All of that's available in the display settings. So if you scroll further down here to badges, you see you have badge color. We can make that red as well and we can set the badge text color. And then also if we want to show pre-order badges and if we want to show back order badges. So we can manage those here as well. Save this again, refresh this, and we'll see the badge update. So now that we've customized our pre-orders, we've got them showing on the storefront. Let's take a look at placing a pre-order and see that process. 
One of the great things about Early Bird is that we can add a pre-order product to our cart. So let's say we want to choose the pay a 50% deposit option for this Dawn Complete Snowboard product. We can click pre-order now. It's going to add it to our cart. And you'll see that the purchase option, the expected ship date, and the purchase option name all show up under this item. If we view the cart as well, we can see all this information carry through. And this will carry through to checkout as well. So the customer is always informed that it's a pre-order and when it's expected to ship. But the great thing is we can also jump to our catalog page and click on a regular product like this hydrogen product and add to cart as well. So this is just an in-stock product that we have. And you'll see that Early Bird will support us having both a pre-order and an in-stock product. So if we check out now, you'll see that we have our two products and all of our purchase option information is here for our pre-order and our regular product is here as well. You'll see that Shopify will display the total due today, which is 879 and the total due on the 13th of November, which is 279. And so Early Bird will automatically capture the remaining payment on the 13th of November, and the customer's always informed what's gonna happen and when they're gonna to have to pay. So if we just skip through the checkout now, and we'll see what this looks like on the back end. So jumping back to the admin, we can see that on our campaign dashboard, we've had one order come through, and the order's listed in the orders table now. So there's the customer information, when it was placed, you can open this little pop-up to see the items and all the fulfillment statuses. Uh, the pre-order total, we also have the payment status here, and the fulfillment status. Now, uh, one thing I will point your attention to as well is under the payment status column, there is this little icon which will appear. So this will appear if the customer has paid a deposit up front and the remaining balance is going to be order captured. This is just showing you that it's been partially paid and the remaining balance will be order captured on this date at this time. It gives you all the information here. And this icon will turn into a green tick once Early Bird has processed this payment for us. So when you're ready to stop selling pre-orders and you want to end this campaign, whether you've set an end date or not, uh, you can always manually end the campaign yourself by clicking the stop campaign button. So if we click this now, it's going to process and the campaign will stop showing on our storefront completely. So we can turn it on and off at any time. But let's say we're finished with it now and we get another option in this drop down here to archive the campaign. So this is just if, we, if the campaign's done, we'll never need to resume it again and we just want to lock this for editing and sort of just archive it away. We can click this. Um, but otherwise you can just leave it stopped and you can resume it at any time. If we did want to archive this campaign though, we can click this button and we'll get a little pop-up here which just lets us know what archiving is all about. We can click archive campaign and that will be done. So now if we jump back to our campaign list, you'll see that the test campaign we created here is now archived. And we can see that the stats, orders and revenue show up and we can still click into it and view all the analytics, but we won't be able to edit it anymore. And so that's the whole process. That's how you can set up pre-order campaigns in Shopify using Early Bird. So if you have any other questions or anything you need, just reach out to support. And you can obviously explore the app yourself. There are a lot more options in Early Bird. We haven't even touched on back orders, back in stock, all the other like email templates and all these different settings. Um, I'm going to talk about those in another video, but this is sort of hopefully enough of a comprehensive guide for pre-orders to get you started. And hope this helps. Thanks so much.